Number six, how much heat in joules and in calories must be added to a 75.0 gram iron block with a specific heat of 0.449 joules per gram times Celsius to increase its temperature from 25 degrees Celsius to its melting temperature of 1,535 degrees Celsius. Okay, a lot of numbers here, right? And they're asking us for one thing. They're asking us for how much heat, right? So that's the question. How much heat in joules, so in the unit J, J for joules, and in calories, usually cal is lowercase c-a-l, and they told us a mass, right? A gram is a mass. They gave us a specific heat. Now, I don't like that there is a degree Celsius all the way over here. This should be tagged along right here. Okay. And they gave us a temperature, right? So usually when they're asking for heat, they gave us a mass, right? A specific heat value. It's going to be a formula. And it's this formula right here. I'm just going to put this all the way up here. It's Q equals M times else times delta T, right? The triangle means delta. The triangle is just a change. So let's just run through what each one of these units mean. Q stands for heat energy. So there's what the question's asking for, right? How much heat? Q is the heat. And let me just make this better. Now, when you're using this formula, you need to know that the, J, uh, the Q has to be in joules. So we're going to be finding out what the joules is first, and then we can calculate to calories. The M stands for mass, and the mass is always in grams in this formula. They gave us a mass right here. The S is the specific heat, and the specific heat is specific for a compound, a molecule, or an element. In this case, they told us that we're dealing with iron, so we need to know what the specific heat of iron is. And the specific heat units is always joules per gram times degree Celsius. It's this guy over here. So they gave it to us. And then delta T, right, this triangle T, delta T is the change in temperature. So there's a secret formula inside of this formula. Just know that a delta T is always the final temp minus the initial temp, TF minus TI. And just know that when you're using this formula, the actual temperatures have to be in Celsius because this, the specific heat, is also in Celsius. So let's first find out, you know, what the change in temperature is. If we want to solve for Q, we need to know all of these values. So the delta T, the change in temp, would be the final temp minus the initial. Now let's see, it said, you know, we have this iron block and it's increasing its temperature from 25 to 1,535. So it looks like we're starting at 25 and we're going to 1,535 degrees Celsius. So this would be the initial TI and this would be the TF. In my delta T, it's always final minus initial. So delta T would be the 1,535 minus the 25. You don't have to put the units in here. Just know that, you know, this whole thing has to be in Celsius. You do not have to convert to Kelvin when using this formula or this formula. Okay. So my delta T would be, let's see, 1,535, 1535 minus 25. So I get 1,510 degrees Celsius. And that's the change in the temperature. Delta means change. So now we have everything ready. Let's solve for that heat energy, right? Let's solve for the heat. So Q equals the M. The M is mass. It has to be in grams. They gave it to us right here, 75.0 times S. S is next and S is the specific heat. They told us that the specific heat was 0.449. And then the delta T, the change in the temperature in degrees Celsius, and that's this guy, 1510. 
Now, I don't put any units in my calculations. I never do, really, because I always just make sure, do I have the right unit beforehand? And when I say yes, I just plug in the number. So here we go. Q equals 75 times 0.449 times 1510. And if we're playing the sig fig game, we have the lowest number of three sig figs in my multiplication. So I need to have three sig figs. So I'm going to put this answer into scientific notation. So it would, it would either be 50,800 joules if you are not putting it into scientific notation, but I'm doing it. So we got 5.08 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's in joules because when I'm using this formula, Q is always in joules. So there's one answer. My heat that's required to, to raise the temperature of this iron block is 50,080, right? 50,800 joules. So check. The joules is checked. Now we have to just convert to calories. So we have this little lovely conversion down here. We know that one lowercase c calorie, this is not the same as capital C for calorie. Capital C is kilocalories. So one calorie is equal to 4.184 joules. So all I got to do is just convert this, right? 5.08 times 10 to the fourth joules. I'm converting, so I always multiply by that ratio. The unit that you don't want goes on the opposite side. So in this case, it goes on the bottom. And the calories that we want go on the top. Use the units of the uh, conversion factor. One calorie for every 4.184 joules. So the one goes with the calorie, the 4.184 goes with the joules, and cancel out the joules. You're now just left with the unit of calories. So we're good to go. The 4.184 is on the bottom, so that's division. So 4.08 times 10 to the fourth, divided by 4.184. And I'm gonna put this number into scientific notation as well. It's a pretty big number. So three sig figs, 1.21, times 10 to the fourth. And that's now in calories. And maybe I'll just say calories. And that's it. So in order to raise the temperature from 25 degrees Celsius to 1,535 degrees Celsius of a 75 gram iron block, you will require a lot of heat energy. So that, that's basically what this is all about. All right, but there's your two answers. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel, which will help us out. And it just gets the word out there that this cool service exists. We have chem at the moment, uh, physics, and also math videos if you guys are taking those classes or know of anyone who's taking your classes. You know, tell your friends. You guys rock. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.